Yumiko. One, two, three, four. Go, Nine Tails. What? Wait, what is going on with her stats? Slow down, big fella. Yumiko's hammer is a nightmare to play against, especially with her high speed and high dexterity. It makes it very hard for you to punish her, especially with her down seek, which limits your options of approaching her, so you cannot jump at her. So every floater out there, you might want to reconsider jumping. It's a floater! Also, when Yumiko's D sig is paired with her side sig, it kind of makes Yumiko a sniper. So yeah, good luck fighting Yumiko. Yumiko's best sig out of all her six sigs is her hammer in sig. There's just no competition in this one. Especially with her high speed and like, hammer got nerfed, but Yumiko making up for it with her dexterity makes hammer feel like usually old hammer. Not really. Well, at least you can do the Yumiko zero to death still. Wait, what? Well, at least you can get some style points for Russian. Wait. Russian Mafia is not true anymore also? Well at least it doesn't drop like certain characters. Wait. Wait what? I'm done. Well, when the SIG doesn't drop, it's really good. So yeah, that's pretty much all said about NC. It's an insane edge guard tool. This is why Yumiko is the best hammer off stage. Swapping over to the bow. We gotta talk about 7 dexterity bow. 7 dexterity bow is kinda stupid. It's, it's literally dumb. Like, no recovery times on your moves. Especially when you have sniper moves. Yeah, 7 dex. 6 dex. 6 and above dex is broken. Cause 6 dex, you can do it also. Yumiko's down single bow is kinda not that useful. It also drops, which makes no sense. <laughs> Oh my god, this character is broken in the wrong way. Like, she's unplayable. Her both side sig and both end sig are basically the same sig. It's a teleport sig that just goes forward in the area you're shooting. It's pretty decent, pretty good. That it's actually pretty hard to punish it because she teleports everywhere. So, yeah. Honestly, with Yumiko, you should stay a little bit away from twos because Yumiko is mostly ones. Because twos, Yumiko just has not that much space to work with. They use her dexterity to the fullest and her speed. And dexterity is not really the best for twos. You mostly want like a lower dex character for 2v2 because you're not going to be sitting around spamming in twos. You're just going to get punished by and jumped by people. Especially with her low defense, you're going to just get tossed around. So it's not really worth it for you to be in twos. You already know the drill. Comment who you'd like to see next. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.